A rhinestone is made of glass with an index of refraction of 1.5. To make it more reflective, it is coated with a thin film of silicon monoxide with an index of refraction of 2. Find the minimum thickness of silicon monoxide coating to provide strong reflection for 570 nanometer light at normal incidence. So the diagram looks like this. We have glass with n equals 1.5, the silicon monoxide coating n equals to 2, and this part is the thin film. Let's say the thin film has a thickness of T. And then out here, we have air with n equals to 1. The interference comes from the two reflections. Now let's see if the first reflection gives us a half wavelength shift or not. This is n equals to 1, that's n equals to 2, so this reflection is being reflected off a bigger n, therefore a peak is going to turn into trough, that means that we get a half wavelength shift. For this second reflection, it is reflected off of n equals to 1.5 from n equals to 2, so it is being reflected off of a smaller n. That means that it is like being reflected off a free end. So peak stays a peak, trough stays a trough. That means that there is no wavelength shift due to the reflection. However, this second ray has to travel an extra distance. How much extra distance? It will be t plus t, so it's 2t. So the path difference here, I'm going to use the 2t term minus the other one. So it's 0 plus 2t minus half lambda. It's going to equal 2. Let's see. Because we want to have more reflection, we want a strong reflection. That means we want these two to give us constructive interference. For constructive interference, this will equal to 0 lambda, 2 lambda, that kind of number for constructive interference. Okay, so this will be 2t minus half lambda. We're going to use 0 first. And this works because what we get is t equals to lambda over 4. And again, this will be the lambda in the thin film which is the wavelength in the vacuum divided by the n of the thin film. So this will be the lambda in the, wave, in the vacuum is 570 nanometers divided by the n of the thin film. The thin film is silicon monoxide, so n is 2. So this gives us... Uh, 71.5 and that's nanometers so this is also nanometers so this is the thickness we need. Notice that the only index of refraction we plug into our calculations is the n of the thin film. For this one n equals 2 right over here. We did not need to plug in the n equals to 1 nor the n equals to 1.5. However, we did need to use all of the ends to compare and to decide whether each reflection involves a half wavelength shift or not.